If you're looking at your soil wondering if your soil's ready for soil microbes, in a short answer, probably not. Like it or not, the microbes in your soil are banded as a union and they have a list of demands. There are certain conditions that they have to have if they're gonna work. They wanna breathe and they wanna eat and they want a good environment where they can live with a pH and things like that. Looking at what your soil is, please don't spend money on a microbe pack until you identify what your soil is. Because if you don't change anything, buying more microbes is only gonna make your checkbook thinner and will not make you any more money. But microbes in the soil, guess what? You've got them in your soil. They're there right now. Are they doing any work? Probably not. How do we know if the microbes in your soil are working and how do we know if your soil is ready for microbes? Well, number one, pretty simple stuff. I'm gonna be Captain Obvious here, so stick with me. I'll blow through it pretty quick. But is your soil hard, compacted, crusted over? Do you think any air can get into that soil? And to qualify air getting in the soil, please use a penetrometer. A penetrometer measures the compaction, the surface tension of the soil. And if you have over 150 PSI in the soil, you're not getting air in the soil. What I mean by that is you have uh, high pressure fronts and low pressure fronts. And we're going to jump in and out of quite a few different sciences here, because let's be honest, there's more than one science needed to explain life, to explain growing nutritional food, to explain the ecological wonderment of Mother Nature. So you have meteorology, whole nother science. Why are we gonna talk about that? Because weather kind of matters when it comes to farming. A high pressure front is heavy sinking air that is designed to push air into the soil, air containing 78% nitrogen, 20% to oxygen, 415 parts per million CO2. It's what the microbes need to respirate. But if the air hits the ground because of compaction and bounces off, your microbes are suffocating. So now you wanna add more to it. Well, guess what? If the microbes in your soil aren't alive now, please don't throw more in there because that's just gonna add insult to injury. If they're starving, if they're suffocating, don't spend money until you know what you've got. Please. You don't have to buy a penetrometer. Have your neighbor buy one. This particular penetrometer is made by Agritronics. Have your neighbor buy it and tell him you'll show him how to use it. 100 to 150 PSI. If you're below 100, there's nothing in that soil to hold nutrients for the microbe. They can breathe because there isn't pressure there, but you're starving the microbes. There's nothing there for them. What do I mean by that? If you haven't checked your carbon to nitrogen ratio in the soil, please look at that. Take a look at your soil organic matter, great number, but carbon to nitrogen has a direct relationship on microbial feeding. Eight to one microbes are just surviving. 16 to one, they're just starting to go to work. 24, 25, 26 to one carbon nitrogen. Now you got something going. If you don't have a 16 to one carbon to nitrogen, don't buy microbes. Because then you're gonna give the company that created or grew these microbes a bad name with no fault of theirs. If your soil has too much pressure and the air can't get in from the high pressure front to respirate the microbes, don't put more microbes out there because it's gonna be a waste of money. Relax the soil. This is why we make this calcium to relax the soil. Put some carbon in the form of sugar, molasses, leonardite, humulite, coal, grass, hay, straw, 
many different sources of carbon because you have to feed the microbes. And you have a lot of indigenous microbes that are in your soil. Give them a breath of air. Give them something to eat. And all of a sudden, you will see that the microbes are definitely a huge factor in the success of your farm. Another thing to look at to see if your soil is ready for microbes, this is a handheld EC meter, and it reads between the two points, and this will read salt, sodium, nitrate nitrogen, ammoniated nitrogen, and 45 different frequencies of things, but it also measures microbial heartbeat. Most beneficial aerobic soil microbes carry a half of a volt of electricity in their body. This will pick up on that. And as you stick this down through the soil, if this is over a 1.0, microbes will not do anything for you. It's too electrical. It's shocking them. You have too high a salt. You have too high a sodium. You have to get rid of the salt. You have to get rid of the sodium. That's why we made the calcium. Get this number between a 0.3 and a 0.7 to start with. That's what microbes need. The pressure on the soil is 100 to 150. The electricity of the heartbeat is anywhere from a 0.3 to a 0.7. Make sure your carbon to nitrogen ratio is in the soil, at least a 16 to 1. Now the indigenous microbes that have always been in your soil will start showing back up. I think many of these microbes are possibly union microbes because if there's too much pressure, they'll say, oh, no, 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 no. We are not working under these stressful, high-tense conditions. If they're getting shocked because you got too much salt or sodium, they're saying, we're not working. We'll go dormant will spore off, we will wait a week, a year, five years, 10 years until the conditions improve, and then we'll come back and we'll work for you, but not until conditions improve. Here's the bottom line. Improve your conditions. Relax the soil with the calcium. Get your respiration where it needs to be. Check the heartbeat. Put some carbon in the soil in the form of sugar, molasses, and other quick sources to, to break down and start feeding the microbes. And then you will start getting the indigenous microbes that have always been in your soil working for you. And then you can evaluate whether you need a microbe pack after that. If there's any questions, comments, or concerns, email us or call us at SoilWorks. We look forward to talking to you. Thanks.